Hello and welcome to the final deck craft video of the month. In the comments please tell me if this kind of deck profile was more to your liking than the usual, kind of dissecting the deck and taking the best of it. Anyway, leave your thoughts in the comments below and now let's talk about Red Eyes Synchro. Red Eyes as a whole doesn't have any tuners to take advantage of, meaning that any sort of synchro summon action has to be assisted by outside cards. There are two ways you can approach this conundrum, the level 8 axis or the level 9s. Level 8 mostly focus on summoning Tenny, Spirit of Hara, Rocket, Synchron and other level 1 tuners to easily provide that tuner, which with a level 7 Red Eyes can then proceed to a level 8 Synchro summon. That's a very basic and a standard game plan, that's why I find the level 9 approach a bit more fascinating. You'd have to use a level 2 tuner monster, but there are a few interesting ones. One of them is the Hub ES Quadrant. This level 2 beast can special summon itself and Synchro during the opponent's Turn. This can provide an interesting form of disruption should something like, I don't know, Shen Shen suddenly drop to the field. Level 9 approach also has access to Azurai Silver Dragon, originally a blue eyes support, but since it can summon any normal monster, it can also summon back red eyes, giving the deck a little bit more recursion. That's why I'll be going with the level 9 Red Eyes Synchro, and now let's go through the deck list. So we're starting this deck profile with our Synchro Engine, the Hub Melfi one. I talked about it a few weeks back. Yeah, there is a whole episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Engineering on this one. We're playing Triple Hoppia Squadron, Triple Melfi Caddy, which can search out Hoppia Squadron during the opponent's turn and Melfi Pony, which can bring back to the hand a Hoppia Squadron from the graveyard. So basically, those Melfis give us Hoppia Squadron and they can loop it, giving us almost infinite Synchro materials. As level 2 tuners, we're also playing Dark Resonators, two of them with one Resonator Call. That's here because I couldn't find better tuners to make during the first turn of the duel. Also, they can special summon the Blackstone of Legend, and this guy can bring any of our Red Eyes monsters. So I think that this is a pretty decent combination to go into one of our level 9 Synchro monsters. And while we're on the top of Red Eyes we're playing two Black Dragons, Three Black Dragons, two Flare Dragons, three Toon Dragons, three Stones, triple Toon Table of Content to surge those Toon Dragons, double card of Red Stone to, well, get them to the graveyard, draw two cards, get one more to the graveyard, double Spirit to revive the Bastards, and one Return to revive the Bastards more. Triple our lore because basically most of the deck is dark. Double Swords because, well, most of the deck is dark. Most of the deck can be used as cards or the Sacred Swords. Basically, this is our draw engine. We also have Triple Ash Blossom and Triple Imperm because why the fuck not? As for our extra deck, I opted not to use any Link Monsters because fuck them. We're not here to be good. We're playing Double Azurai Silver Dragon. Like I mentioned earlier, it can revive a Red Eyes Black Dragon, and once it does, we can use it with Hoppia Squadron to bring out another level 9 Synchro. We're also playing Triple Cloud Castle to revive any of the level 9 Synchros that have hit the graveyard for various reasons, and it also provides us with the uh, rank 9 capabilities, which are also quite interesting. We're playing One Star Wolf Wolf Riot, to have that disruption in his place, there's also the Vermilion Dragon Mech and Shen Shen. Because fuck your graveyard, we have a Shen Shen. As for our Xyz monsters, we'll start with the rank 7 double flare metal, one diabolos. Now for the rank 9s, we have triple phantom Fort fortress enter Blauthier, which is most of the time, a hand disruption, disruption. Banish card from hand, which is very good as an effect. We're also playing a 9 lives 
attacked. Your opponent can't... This is an interesting monster because the opponent cannot target other monsters, therefore special summons from the graveyard, with card effects. So, like, basically every red eyes monster that we will revive using either Azure Eyes or one of our red eyes traps. Also, I can, you can detach one material, target one level 9 monster in the graveyard, or one monster in the opponent's graveyard and special summon it to your side of the field. So, this 9 lives cat... I need to look at the wording... Yeah, so if we have a level 9 monster, one of our synchros, Shen Shen, Mech, Wolf Rayet, Azurais, 9 lives cat is basically a walking, talking monster reborn with 3300 defense. The booty of this kitty is ginormous. So that's why I think it's uh, going to be a very interesting card to use. As for the side deck, let's go through the spells. We're playing Triple Lightning Storm, Triple Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, and one Harpy's Feather Duster. Yeah, the deck is very monster-focused, some traps are also there. We don't like to interact with the opponent. That's uh, also probably why we're playing Double Radiant, Double Kamongas, one Gamma Seal, and one Gadarla. We're focusing on Kamongas and Radian because they are level 7, so they can also be used as synchro material for any of our monsters if we have Hoppia Squadron or Red Resonator. As a side bonus, we're also playing Double Lava Golem. I opted for using Lava Golem in the side deck because it's also a monster, a kaiju esque monster which we can summon to the opponent's side of the field by tributing any of the monster he has, and Lava Golem can tribute too. So, should we... So, basically what I want to do with this, it's either Lava Golem, Kamongus, or any other... any other kaiju get three monsters off the board. Do a big synchro, boom boom. Neat. Or Lava Golem and then Slumber. Either way, we're taking out the field. So that's the basic idea. How it's going to work, I have no way of knowing. Until the stream. So I'll see you then, when this will be put to the final test. During the Red Eyes month. I'll see you then. Jacolo Sanyo, peace!